Hi guys and welcome to image processing tutorial developed using Python. Okay, actually this very tutorial is at the request of this guy here. He's been asking for image processing software for quite some time now. So, and this is his last email or his last message. So I am waiting for image processing software. Please, at least open an rotating function on the image so and that is what I've just taken care of just to open and rotate the function we can rotate it here then you can see the difference between this image and this very image you can see the contrast everything okay and in the tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to sharpen the appearance of the image and so on and here we can open more images if you want let's click on that and we should be able to see more images here you can see let me increase that you can see most of my previous tutorial this one is upside down let's turn it here and there we go there so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take you guys straight into a Python development environment and we'll put this very short tutorial together. Let's do that now guys. And welcome back to Python development environment. I'm going to start by importing as follows. So that is going to be P L P I L. So I'm going to import that li very library. If you don't have that library in your system, you're going to have to install it. And to be able to get that, I'm going to show you guys how to import, um, install it right now. What you need to do. So the next thing is image filter. I want my image filter. So to actually to be able to gain access to this library, all you need to do is you should by now know how to install. Um, whatever library you want just say pi install there okay you install the pillow you understand me once you install the pillow that's it you're able to gain access to the following libraries all right so that's what you need to do for that now the next thing I want to do since I've called this uh, this very library I'm going to just say read image that's the very one I intend to use and this very read image I want you to be to open up image so image that's the method dot open and what image do I want it to open whatever image I want it to open I'm going to put it within this parenthesis and right here let, first of all, let me save this very project so that I will gain access to where I intend to, whatever images I intend to use. I mean, okay, I'm going to save my project in here, so I'll just call that image, okay, image manipulation. So we'll get rid of that. There we go. And right here, I intend there are some. There are some images that I'm going to be using. So let's just save it first and then I'll show you guys the images I intend to use. Save. And right inside my folder here, I have an image I intend to use. Okay, I'm going to use this very one that says iFly. All right, so let's come in here. I'm just going to enter iFly in there. Let's enter that inside the parentheses. Also, Okay, then I I fly dot png. There we go. Now the next thing is you see this my very variable that is called read image. I'm now gonna call read image again. Once the image is read and I want it to show it. So in there I'm gonna use a method that says show there and okay the image that we're showing we then need to enhance it we can always put 
the library up here but uh, maybe I'll just put it down here so let me copy that and come right down from PIL import image enhance there okay you can leave it here but the choice is yours or you can just take it right up there the choice is yours now let's get rid of this since you guys know how to install this now I don't need it anymore now the next thing I'm going to do right underneath here is I am now going to say let's say enhance okay enhance or let's say image enhance okay image enhance that's the variable that I intend to use equals oh wait a minute it's the same name so let's just change it image enhance right something like this equals call this very library here equals I'm going to use lowercase here image enhance okay equals image enhance dot now I'm now going to call the method that says contracts okay and that information can be read from read image right here paste that and close that and finally all we just need to then do is you see this my variable here that is called image enhance paste that in here I'm now going to say dot enhance and I want that to be 1.8 close that and dot show and what do you want me to show I want you to show approximately 30 percent more contrast okay I'll close that and that's all there is to it okay I'm going to run it but before then let me just have a quick look wrong spelling and enhance there okay now let's run it and see so you should be able to see the difference between the two images that I want you to open for me that's my first one okay maybe we move that here okay and the second one look at that can you guys see the difference you see look at the two images you can see how bright this one is you can see the difference that's the contrast between them okay that's the con uh, contrast between them all right one other thing that we can do is supposing we we can even okay let's instead of saying contrast let me copy that and we just comment that out come in here and we change one to I'm going to change this to let's sharpen it up okay okay increase the sharpness right and let's see what's going to happen I'm going to run it again so let me open up that so that you guys can see it properly run let's see what's going to happen now let's see see that you can see the sharpness let's see the second one can you see the second one okay with sharpness the other thing that we can do okay let's reduce the amount of enhancement that we have in here I'm gonna close this and I'll come in here let's change this one to maybe one and this one to zero Okay, and let's see what's going to happen. Run. Yeah. And 
let's see the second one is coming up okay what is happening is they reason much different which is that's not too bad but let's close this now let's see what's going to happen if I comment out sharpness and enable the contrast okay now let's run it and see by the way let me just increase this font so that you guys can see it properly okay maybe about 16 okay that's cool I have enough room anyway to work all right so I'm gonna run it now it's only in total about seven lines of codes that is doing all this for me let's see and let's see the very first image that will come out now look at that that's the very first image the second one is coming look at what happened to the second one okay when you change the contrast you see that so with that guys i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial but remember you're going to have to install as follows pi install there you need to do that okay you should be able to install that anyway so guys i'm going to say bye for now and you all have a nice day bye